Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Welcome to this week's choice. And this choice this week is with our traditions muzzleloaders. Alaska. Alaska with Wade Renfro, Renfro's Alaskan Adventures, which I'm going to tell you something. We did a lot of research on to find the ultimate brown bear outfitter. Yes. And I've got to tell you, bar none, we found him. Yes, in fact, we went up there, but before we get into our hunt last September, yep. we're going to go into Peter Bofill, posse member Peter Bofill, and he from went up Miami. there last spring. From, he's Mi from Miami. <laughs> so he's used so, to the warm temperatures. And he went in the spring, and there was really deep snow, and Jess was up there too. Jess Motz was up there, and I mean, they were hunting in snowshoes after brown bears. That's insane. They saw wolves, they saw all kinds of things, so let's just roll that footage. Cold. Peter, you looked cold. Peter, you were surrounded by wolves. Were they looking for a little bit of that, that Miami spicy food stuff or what? Hey, also don't forget to look for the True Glow logo. We hid it somewhere. Hey Peter, I'm glad to see that you survived the wolves. Now, do you think you'll survive that brown bear? My guide Paul over here, he spotted a real nice bear up here on the hill. We're here hunting with Renfro's Alaskan Adventures. And man, let me tell you, it is a wild adventure, especially me from Miami. It is cold, frigid. I'm freezing out here, but man, I wouldn't be anywhere else in the world right now but standing right here. I'm so happy these guys convinced me to come out here and do this adventure. Right now we spot a real nice bear a thousand yards and that's where we're headed. Welcome back to the choice. Now let's get back to Peter Bofill's brown bear hunt. And I'm telling you what, he was that, freezing. that big old bear sticking his head out of that den. Uh, and then he came completely out and gave, well, I won't say it. No, be quiet. Shh. So pumped. I am, let me tell you, 
I was complaining earlier it was a little bit cold, but right now I'm not complaining. This is what it's about. It's coming out here, enjoying the time, putting the work. And let me tell you, look at this man, I'm shaking. All here, he spotted him yesterday, last night, late, up in the mountains here. We worked all the way up there. It took us at least five hours to get up there. And once we got there, man, all we could have gotten is 135 yards. I took my Nikon rangefinder, ranged him 135 yards. It's the closest we got. He came out of his den, kind of spotted us. Then he started turning and walking away. And Paul told me, you got to take him now before he goes over the mountain. So we went ahead and made the shot. And let me tell you, this is my first coastal brown bear. And take a look at the size of this man. Holy mackerel. Wow, Peter, congratulations on a great bear. And you know, choosing the right outfitter, there's proof that if you do some research, you'll find him. Right, well now we're gonna go into September when you and I went up there. Yes. And my very first morning out, we were in the right place at the right time, but the bear was ahead of schedule. Five minutes out of camp, we had our first brown bear encounter. Is that cool or what? You can have it if you want it. Awesome. Here, I'll just take it off the clip. Just press the button once. It will go on. Press it twice. It'll be ready to go. I just make my pen the bowl here. It looks like a mature, mature bear. He's got a nice big hump on him. Real dark chocolate. Yeah. first bear sort of dodged us, but the second bear, the second day? Yeah, it's the only bad part was that bear saw something. Oh, they yeah, they he, have a sixth sense like you can't imagine. He just, he, he, he left he pinned that, something. That, yeah. that was my last opportunity because away we go. Yeah. On the bottom there. Squeeze the trigger. Ooh. He just fell in a hole.
Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the choice. choice. And oh, you know, you know, you see this beautiful blonde face, brown bear oh. walking towards us down the ridge. I mean, we ran for like. How was you walking? Five miles. I wasn't really sure. Oh. Five miles. We ran back and forth on that ridge and we finally get set up on him and then we had to move just a hair. They have a sixth sense and he saw something. Yeah, he they, they, he definitely caught no he caught, he caught something. He wasn't sure something. whether they got, you know, say good eyesight or not, but check this out. So close. That was so depressing when we watched that bear walk away. I thought I was gonna cry, especially because now I knew that was my last opportunity at my brown bear. It's Ralph's turn. Before we get any further, I should get some direction. Do you always get direction from like your chest somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my heart tells me exactly where to go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> um. Okay. Due north to what mountain? The one that's very visibly right there. So, um, okay, do you see an issue? We're heading north, or, or due north is to nowhere. Yes. Actually, we're gonna head. We're gonna head. We're gonna head southeast. Southeast. Yeah. To that mountain over there. To that mountain over there, yes. Yeah. It's just like a shot in the dark. But we're gonna stay low. I think the fog is just on the on upper edge here. We're gonna drop right down and skirt right on the right at the fog level and sneak around the south side. Did you ever feel foggy? <laughs> Start now. Let's go. Well, just like Terry said, I mean we haven't we haven't got up here and been glassed in five minutes and we got a big brown. He's really dark and he's working his way. He's covering a lot of ground. Excuse me. Then we have a lighter brown bear working a little <coughs> more to the left. <coughs> That's nice. Bug. Get used to them. They're protected here in Alaska so you can't kill them. You just got to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Is this cool or what? Wade, thank you so much. Terry, thanks brother. You got it. Thank you Wade for putting us in a nice Oh, spot. look at this. Welcome back to the Choice. You know, to, to lead up to this hunt and a dream and a, and a goal of mine is we get a lot of questions. A lot of people ask me, what are these, these holes here? And yes, in 1980, um, I fell off a ladder, a five foot ladder, and I, I broke C6 and C7. And I told the neurosurgeon at that time, I said that, you know, someday I'm going to get up to Alaska and I'm going to shoot myself a brown bear. And he, you know, they told me oh, they just want to get me out of there. Get, and, get you walking. And thanks to Wade Renfro. Uh, the opportunities Vicky and I had were just unbelievable. It's a good thing, um, you know, that's a pretty serious subject, but I mean, if the ladder was five foot and you're five seven, that's, you know. I only fell seven inches, is that what you're saying? <laughs>
Brother, you did it, buddy. We we work together as a team. You got you. You got yourself an Alaskan brown bear. Cares, thank you so much for making this dream come true. You have no idea how happy he is right now. I am happy to be here, and I'm happy to meet you guys. Yeah. July sixth, 1980. Uh, I fell off a ladder and I broke my neck. I shattered C6 and C7. And I told the neurosurgeon about a month later when I was still in the hospital that someday I was going to get up to Alaska and shoot a brown bear. I wanted to do it with my Hoyt, but he, he, I, he saw something. He sensed something. He didn't, uh, he didn't smell us. The wind is still good. They are, their sixth sense is so good. And we took the tradition's muzzle loader and we smoked him, baby. Well, what can we say? An adventure, a trip, I mean, just a total life-changing experience. You know, we've talked about trips of a lifetime and people go, oh, another trip of a lifetime. Well, this, this truly is, you know, to, to, to come up here to Alaska, you know, to hunt with Wade Renfro. And I mean, with you, Terry, and, and, and Randy flying, I mean, just, yeah. I, I just, I mean, we we're, we're camped on that saddle. Wade said, you know, he wanted to get us in this valley. Um, they took a nine, what? Nine two. Nine two? A rough score of nine two is probably bigger. And what do you think? This one is, he's close to nine. He's pushing nine. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you know, once we square him up, that's what we'll do. You know, we we'll square him up. We I don't care. Him. I mean, no, he's huge. We can't move him. Right. It's a, it's a trophy. It's, a, it's an animal of a lifetime. And we got him with a smoke pole. And you yeah. followed up just... I mean, that's yeah. that's a norm. But that's, you know what, the last thing you want is, again, you don't want the animal running away. Right. Well, we need to w thank Wade Renfro and Renfro's Alaskan Adventures because that was one heck of a dream trip for you. To fulfill you know, that dream is just... You know, a lot of people, a brown bear hunt's probably out of the question, you know, because when, when you compare it to a lot of the other prices out there, or I should say, you other know... Other hunts or, out there. Yep. But Wade actually has, we did our research, and he is priced well below the majority of them. He shoots bigger bears, more color phase than I don't think anyone. And it was a great hunting adventure all around. We yeah. really did. I wish I would have gotten one, but you know. Maybe next year. At least you got one, I guess. Yeah. At least your dream came true, so I'm happy for you. Yes. We hope you did find and looked for that Trugo logo though, because if you did, you need to log on to huntingnet.com slash the choice and let us know where you saw that logo at and see what happens and someone's going to get something surprise, in the mail. Surprise! Surprise! surprise. So we want to thank you for this week for making your choice the choice.